Hi, today we are going to learn about carbohydrates, biology chapter 4. Carbohydrates is an organic compound that com comprised of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. As the name go, carbo is carbon, hydrate is water, H2O. H2O. So the ratio between hydrogen and oxygen is 2 to 1. It means 2 hydrogen to 1 oxygen. For example, we take an example of glucose. Glucose, the chemical formula for glucose is C6H12O6. You see, hydrogen is 12. It's double the ratio of oxygen, 6, half of it. Ratio 2 to 1. 2 times of hydrogen equal to 1 oxygen. Glucose is a hexagon look. You see, 1 side, 2 side, 3 side, 4 side, 5 side, 6 sides is a hexagon. Yeah, 6 carbon, 1 carbon, 2 carbon, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon. Hydrogen, they have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And oxygen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 oxygen. Okay, and then carbohydrate divided into three parts, which is the first one is monosaccharide. The formula for monosaccharide is C6H12O6. Monosaccharide means one sugar. Disaccharide, the general formula for disaccharide is C12H22O11. You see, this is the ratio of hydrogen two times the oxygen. Polysaccharide is C6H10NO5 and times the N. N normally range 3 to 6. Okay, and then... Um, okay, the very important thing is about carbohydrate is they have two process. One is condensation, another one is hydrolysis. When a monosaccharide turn into a disaccharide, it has to use the process of condensation. When a disaccharide want to reverse back to monosaccharide, we can use the process of hydrolysis. This is a reversible process. Condensation reaction means removing water from two monomers to form a dimer. For example, we know that monosaccharide for example, the monosaccharide is this one. Example of monosaccharide is this. Monosaccharide means one sugar. Glucose or fructose or galactose. Okay, and then if one glucose plus another one glucose, it will become a disaccharide. It is a maltose. One glucose plus another one glucose, it becomes maltose. Just like this one. This is a condensation reaction. When a monosaccharide, two monosaccharide, they want to become disaccharide, we have to use the condensation process. Condensation reaction is the removing of water. Okay, and then this two monosaccharide become disaccharide plus water, H2O. H is the big O and the two is um, hydrogen. Hydrolysis reaction is the meaning of adding water. Just now it's reducing, removing water, then this hydrolysis reaction is actually adding water. Adding water actually can break the polymers and the dimers back into monomers. Just now we use glucose plus glucose, which is the maltose. Maltose, we can break it plus water. We can bring it back and break it down back to glucose plus glucose. This is a one sugar, one sugar. This is a monosaccharide.
which is the glucose we use the example here. So this is the very important process that you need to know because it come out in the past year questions. Next, a very important thing is Monosaccharide is one sugar, disaccharide is two sugar, polysaccharide is many sugar. Monosaccharide is a source of energy. Monosaccharide example like glucose, galactose and fructose. This one is also very important because past year question keep coming up. Which one they ask you to identify monosaccharide example of monosaccharide, disaccharide and polysaccharide. Monosaccharide, one sugar, we can use the first initial letter to remember the example of monosaccharide. This one, G, start with G, give good feeling. Give good feeling. We can remember is an example of monosaccharide, glucose, galactose and fructose. It is soluble in water and sweet taste. It is simple carbo. For example, like honey. Honey is made of glucose and fructose. Candies, like the children or when we are young, we like to eat candies. It's made of glucose. And then other like yogurt, cream, cheese are galactose. Example of galactose. Disaccharide 2 sugar, it acts as a transport. For example, example of disaccharide are lactose, sucrose, and maltose. Okay, we can use a very uh, easy mnemonic to remember. The example of disaccharide, lorry, sand, milk. Lorry, sand, milk, lactose, sucrose, and maltose. It is also soluble in water. Also, taste sweet. It's also a symbol carb. Example of lactose is the milk sugar, sucrose is table sugar, cane sugar, beet sugar, and maltose are malt sugar. Polysaccharide are many sugar. It is a very source of st storage. Example of polysaccharide are cellulose, glycogen, and starch. This one also come out in the past year question. They want you to name the compound or the example of polysaccharide cellulose and glycogen okay we can use the mnemonic of come with good storage c is cellulose g is glycogen starch is storage it is insoluble in water it's different from these two these two monosaccharide and disaccharide are soluble in water but for polysaccharide it is insoluble in water and is tasteless it's a complex carb complex carbohydrate for example like starch fiber, beans, whole grains, starchy veggies, rice, potato, bread, cereal, and odd. This is very important to I differentiate between monosaccharide, disaccharide, and polysaccharide. Okay, uh, and then another important thing is monosaccharide make up of disaccharide. One glucose, glucose plus glucose become maltose. Fructose, suc glucose, this one is glucose plus fructose, it becomes sucrose. Example are table, sugar. Galactose are primary sugar that found in milk and dairy products. See, if galactose plus glucose it become lactose make up of lactose the milk sugar so you have to know um, how much maltose is made of is two glucose plus together sucrose is glucose mix fructose become table sugar galactose is glucose plus galactose become lactose Okay, and then um, why diabetes patients are 
not encouraged to take too much rice, too much carbo, because this diabetic patient they are lack of insulin. So how insulin work? How in, why insulin is so important? Insulin is just like a, is a key that unlock the glucose channel. It can unlock the put in the key, then the glucose channel will open for the glucose to go into the cell. So the insulin is very important to control the glucose in our body. If the glucose can go into the cell, then we can gain energy from the glucose. If the glucose cannot go into the cannot enter into the cell, we cannot have energy. We have no energy and too much glucose in our body is bad for our health and then it will have an, a lot of complication. <coughs> okay. Um, that's so... So... That's... Okay, for... Patient have diabetes type 1 and type 2 have to be careful with the intake of glucose because their pancreas cannot produce or secrete enough insulin. That is the problem. So they are encouraged to reduce the consumption of rice, the carbo. See, uh, the muscle is unable to use the glucose due to the low insulin. Okay, and then the increased glucose due to the low insulin in the bloodstream. So it's very dangerous. Thank you for watching.